Hey everybody, it's your girl TT, and this is what we're going to work on today. When you put on a full lace wig, there's that gap, and I don't like that. So we're going to get you here. What you see right here is exactly what we're going to achieve today with a full lace wig with no hair left out whatsoever. So I did ask the company to send me the full lace wig with no adjustable straps. So that is important if you are trying to recreate this look, you cannot have adjustable straps. So this is the packaging. This is how it came to me. And it is a natural body wave. I did bleach the knots all the way around, front and back. The middle is kind of like a silk base to it, so it didn't need to be. But there's the natural wave pattern of it. This is the hairline that it came with. It did come pre-plucked, but I did plug that line right there. So the back, this is the before and after of what it looked like, and I did tweeze that as well. I use a wig cap underneath my wig, and first, this is just a rough dry run of how the wig is going to work. I did sew in this elastic band, so the band did not come in there. I did sew that on, and I did sew a clip in the back, um, in the middle, just to guide me where I need to be. So... You see the clip right there and I use that just to kind of hold it into place while I am adjusting and while I am determining how to fit this to my head. So the clip in the back just sets where I'm where the middle is so that the sides can be right where I need them to be. So I clip them together to close up that gap and on the other side I clip it as well just to close up the gap. And then what I will do is I will sew that together. You want the bottom of the back to be a flap because that is what you're going to lay down. So that back does need to be free and it will flap up, but that's okay because we're going to take care of that in the end. What I'm showing you right now is me pinching it and the hair being on the outside, but I actually pinch it inward. So instead of pinching it, to where that excess lace is outside of the wig, it's actually inside. And I will show you that as well because I know that may be a little bit confusing. Right here you see I'm pinching it inwards and I'm just, I'm going behind my elastic band. Always make sure your elastic band stop right above your ear. And what you're going to be adjusting by stitching it together is going to be behind your ear because it's the back. We don't want to mess with the front. The front's perfect. It's the back that we want to sew together. So once you sew those sides, you're going to try it on again. And as you see, you don't see anything by me sewing it on the inside. But once you try it on again, you're going to see, okay, does it fit perfectly? For a seamstress, they would say, I need to take the wig in more, you know, take the sides in. So I need to sew a little bit more of it together to fit my head comfortably. So I'm just kind of testing it. And as you see, it still kind of flaps. It's not... It's not as big of a gap as it was before, but it's still a gap. So I'm going to take it off and I'm going to sew some more. And again, that is inside the wig. It's all hidden. None of it shows, as you saw in the clip of the finished product, none of it showed when I showed you the side of my head. All right, so what we're going to do now is just stitch it on both sides. And then we're going to cut and move on to the next step after I do the other side. And you might be wondering, what about the middle? Will the middle be a gap or will it be flappy? The middle fit my head perfectly. So I did not have a problem with the top or the crown of the wig. It was perfect there. It was just the sides. You see I'm pulling the hair up and you don't see anything. So now I'm going to try it on again. And I'm just kind of playing around with it because this is my first full lace wig so I just kind of want to see how it looks in the inside and it looked good and the, if there was no gaps or anything so that's why at this point I'm putting it on my canvas head and I am going to straighten it out and kind of prep it for a high ponytail and this is the back of it and that matched the back of my hairline you can tweeze to match the back of your hairline as well um, I do have videos of how I tweeze and cutting the lace and all of that stuff in the description. 
Um, but right now I am, and you see it, it's, it's so pretty. Like the base of it is so beautiful. The hair is beautiful. I noticed a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of shedding, which is great because usually full lace wigs, the longer they are, the worse they are. And the everything about this wig is supposed to be more of a natural look. I didn't want it a super long length. So it is just perfect. Bleach in the Knots made it above and beyond what I expected. So I am just using like a wand to flat iron it up just to kind of heat it up and then I'm putting those three straps those three strands down because um that's kind of what I'm going to use to guide it to guide myself from seeing behind my head I can't see so those that's what I'm going to feel for so I'm using my baby hair cream which is um something that's in the description below and I'm putting my cap on and I'm going to use my double-sided tape and the strips are very long. They're about 13 inches long. So I'm going to cut that and adjust it to the back of my head. And then I'm going to use a strip on the front as well. So this comes off with 91% rubbing alcohol. It doesn't take your hair out or anything. And it is very, very, very sturdy. So you see, I am taking it off. And then I'm going to apply the unit. And I'm going to start with the front first and put the front exactly where you want it. I'm not going to do the sides until the end. So you see it's snug and secure. And it was kind of crooked, which I'll fix later. But the next step would be adjusting the back. And half of that adjust that um, strap that I put on there will be on the front, on the back of the lace. I'm sorry, on the double-sided tape. But as you see here, it's just perfect and that that little corner of tape does show but I went in the bathroom looked in the mirror and that's when I noticed it and I did fix it so as you see in the end of this video it's not there I just kind of shifted the wig over a little bit but you see like the lace is transparent it's perfect and now I'm going to fix the sides and lay those down and my mom called in the middle of this and she didn't know I was recording and she's mom so I went ahead and talked to her but at this point um I'm gonna lay a couple of baby hairs and that is just kind of to hold the edge in place because I have hair there on my head so I always do my baby hairs to match my hairline so that is what I'm doing there and it also helps the frontal part of it lay um, since it is in front of that double-sided tape, the hair, I placed the lace about an inch of, ahead of the tape. So, um, this just helps to additionally lay that front part down. All right. So I'm pulling it up and I first, I was just going to try to pin it around, but then I was like, no, I need to do this a little bit prettier. So I brushed it up into a ponytail, brushed it out. And put my little ponytail holder on it oh so one thing that about this video is you know a lot of people say it's all about lighting so what I'm gonna do for you is I'm gonna do three different rotations in three different lighting I have the windows open so it's all natural lighting and that's what it looks like This set of lights right here is all artificial lighting. So I have both of my ring lights on each side of me. And that is what it looks like here. Both lights from the natural and the artificial. So it's the maximum light I can shine on this sucker. And at this point, I'm touching it so much because I don't know what you're seeing. It feels great, but I kept touching it like, oh my God, what if this doesn't look right? Or what if this doesn't feel right? And honestly, it turned out perfect. Like this is unfiltered, you guys. So let me know what you think. Would you try a full lace wig? Um, 
Yeah, let me know what you think. Even when I did my own searching for how to do this, I never found any video teaching me how to get it to fit just like this. And somebody being transparent, showing me unfiltered pictures of the outcome, the sides and everything. So here is my gift to you. And hopefully this helps you in the future. Make sure you guys subscribe and thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it. And I will see you in the next video.